This book is very new illustrated atlas for threading and botrytum toxin treatment with the basis of the clinical anatomy illustrations with clinical techniques and procedures. For the utmost clearest comprehension, the structure of the face and neck by each individual layer is demonstrated. Furthermore, the injection depth data based on our anatomy publications and clinical experiences are provided in each illustration and multiple layered illustrations of the face and upper neck. This is not just a book, but a guide to perfect procedure. Um, before we start, I would like to share with you a uh, good news. This year, July, the book Illustrated Atlas for PDO Thread and Botulinum Toxin was published. As an one of authors of this book, I hope this book will be helpful to doctors who do thread lifting and botulinum toxin. In today's webinar, I present over two topics. The first is MFIX and HA filler combination for nasogical fold and nasolabial fold. Second is about hump nose correction using white coat thread. The presentation consists of non-contour thread, video thread lifting for nasogical fold and nasolabial fold filler for nasogical fold and nasolabial fold, WICO, and lastly, video demonstration. As widely known, thread lifting, <coughs> filler, filler, toxin, uh, RF, and HIFU uh, are the representative face contouring method for beautiful and young face. The beautiful mid-face line should be free from wrinkles and smooth line with no grooves. And the nose should be straight, symmetrical, and having a gentle edge line continued from forehead. The mala mound also should keep the edge line and also there should be no subzygoma depression. The most serious side effect of filler injection is vascular accident. So you need to know the path of the blood vessels. In the case of, of the middle face, infra of the artery, facial artery, and dorsal laser artery, angular artery, lateral laser artery, uh, and so on, are the vessels to be concerned about. To avoid the vascular accident, we have to inject the filler on the layer having a relatively least vascular and small diameter vascular, uh, uh, vascular layer such as uh, supraperiosteum and uh, subcutaneous layer. Sometimes uh, we can inject the uh, muscular layer, layer uh, because uh, uh, case by case is different. 
but I always recommend the more safe area is the uh, supraperiosteum area and the subcutaneous layer. Before injecting the filler on the mid face, I always perform a nerve block. Nerve block absolutely can reduce the pain during the procedure and reduce the rate of vascular accident by filler. From now on, I'm talking about the nasojugal fold. Nasojugal fold not knowing result in the attenuation and the drooping of the lower portion of the soup, but also result in the sagging of the mala fat pad above the nasolabial fold. On the other hand, the zygomatic cutaneous ligament retain ligament support and prevent the drooping of the upper portion of the soup. So the mala fat pad uh, can be divided into the upper and the lower portion by the nasojugal fold. When you inject the filler to collect the nasojugal fold, you should be, uh, should be careful not to touch infra of the artery and detour the branch of the facial artery. When you collect the nasojugal fold, using filler, there are a few steps to follow. Firstly, fillers should be injected deeply on the supraperiosteal layer uh, to fill the sunken portion of the prezygomatic space. Secondly, filler, uh, secondly, fillers should be injected into the subcutaneous layer above the obiculus oculi muscles. The filler injection should take place according to the principle of filler procedures. First, inject on the central portion of the most sunken area. This area always injected deeply and inject the rest of the filler accordingly on the surrounding area of the central portion to create a natural concave. Uh, when you inject the filler on the nasojugal fold area, firstly, deeply inject the filler, touch the bone, and more superficially, uh, superficial inject uh, injection on the subcutaneous layer uh, for more smooth uh, uh, skin texture, uh, make the skin texture Let's move to the nasolabial fold. The cause of nasolabial fold are so various and it has two characteristics which are passive fold and active fold. The various reasons for the formation of passive fold are the following. Skin thickness, elasticity, increased mala fat pad volume, skin adhesion of levator labi superior alacanage muscle, Levator the labi superior, superior muscle, zygomaticus minor muscle, and major muscles. Resorption of maxillary and zygomatic bone and connective tissue loss under the nasolabial fold. This area has uh, uh, several muscles adhered to the skin area. This area makes the nasolabial fold. And the libate labi superior superior muscle, libate labi superior muscle, zygomaticus minor and major muscle, libate anguli oris muscle, lizurious muscle are contracted actively and make the fold increase in the nasolabial fold area. Uh, so before treat the uh, nasolabial fold we should uh, uh, do the physical exam on the face. Uh, already I, uh, uh, I told you uh, this nasal fold is the active and passive fold. So uh, we always combine with the toxin, filler, and thread. Uh, uh, in the skin sickness case, we can use a booster Toxin, filler, uh, sometimes use RF, hive, uh, also useful. 
uh, and uh, uh, Mala area sometimes uh, more increased fat volume, fat volume case. Uh, we can use HIF, RF, uh, and uh, sometimes use lipolytic solution like uh, uh, deoxycholic acid and uh, also combine with the uh, spread. Skin sagging case, uh, oh, we all, always recommend the thread lifting. Uh, the patient have the skin crease. Uh, this case, I also recommend the skin booster or toxin and filler, uh, or sometimes using the laser. Depression case, depression case, I combination with filler or sometimes use fat craft. The lacerated bare fold can be corrected in two areas depending on the depth of the lacerated bare fold. If upper, upper part of the lacerated bare fold is deep, it needs more upward lifting. To reduce the lacerated bare fold depth, draw a uh, Draw, draw a line from the mouse corner or to the ear rope uh, as a lower boundary. And another line running down from the lateral cantus to the to meet the first line as the medial boundary. Then insert the cannula loaded MPX MPX thread from the entrance point. Uh, entrance point on the tempor temporal hairline following the smooth layer. Once they reach the medial border uh, drawn earlier, insert the cannula uh, through the sub smooth layer until the cannula tip approaches the 0.5 cm before the azure bear fold as illustrated in the diagram. If, raw, if lower part of the natural fold is deep, it need more backward lifting need. It, it need more backward lifting. Insert a cannula loaded with MFIX into the smooth layer from the entrance point on the superior boundary of the zygomatic arch. Once it cross the medial boundary, uh, insert the cannula into the submass layer until the cannula tip approaches 0.5 cm before the natural bare fold as illustrated in the diagram. When you correct the natural bare fold using filler, you can follow the procedure. <clears throat> First, filler should be injected deep on the supraperiosteal layer to fill the sunken portion, uh, fold portion of the canine fossa. Secondly, filler should be injected into the subcutaneous layer along the nasolabial fold. Uh, from now on, I show the uh, video demonstration. Firstly, uh, draw the lower border and uh, medial boundary and uh, check the nasojugal fold area and the nasolabial fold. And uh, check the upper part drooping of naso labia fold area check and inject a too much solution this temporal area is the lift up the upper part of the naso labia fold this Supra-zygomatic arch area is the lower part of the nasolabial fold lifting.
I always use uh, Mfix for uh, to lift up the Dasura fold because Dasura fold is uh, very movable and uh, this Dasura fold cause uh, cause of Dasura fold is uh, very. Um, combined uh, mixture to thread inject for the natural uh, part, uh, upper part of the natural food to thread inject the uh, backward lifting of the natural low part of the natural food When you inject uh, this area, this MFIX uh, inject along the smart layer, but this cannula tip uh, cross uh, if the cross the if the cannula tip cross the medial boundary, mm, the time this cannula tip or actually uh, direct the uh, downward and puncture the smart layer and uh, reach to the Nasorabia fold. When I inject the uh, thread and filler, I uh, firstly uh, insert the PDO thread and then uh, I inject the HA filler. Uh, most commonly use 20 milligram uh, cross-linked HA filler. This cannula tip touch the bone and inject deeply on the supraperiosteal space. And uh, for Nasura bear fold, this is also inject the uh, canine fossa area deeply and uh, left guide hand uh, fill the volume up. And finally, uh, you dissect the uh, that's what the crease area using the filler cannula tip and uh, inject a small amount of uh, HA filler. Right side also same. Touch the bone. Especially uh, cannula tip uh, located on the infraoptal foramen area and inject bolus. And uh, right nasal of fold also same uh, pattern. Camera tip touch the bone uh, on the canine fossa area and deeply inject and then superficially inject the uh, HA filler. Tiny amount uh, HA filler inject the uh, subdermal layer. This is the uh, correct uh, hump nose using the HA filler and white thread. Firstly, evaluate the patient nose. 
she has the uh, a little bit hump nose no block uh, firstly block the uh, dorsal laser lobe and the di directly inject the lidocaine uh, in the coromella area and uh, H filler uh, delivered to the 0 0.5 uh, milliliter uh, insulin syringe and uh, inject the H fillers uh, using the serial puncture technique. Touch the bone and inject. Touch the bone and inject. Amount is the uh, average 0 0.5 milliliter. And this is for laser tip uh, augmentation using the HA filler. This is for widen the columellar labial angle using the HA filler. About 0.3 milliliter inject in the columellar labial junction area. And uh, puncture with uh, 18 gauge needle, uh, and then inject the uh, Vico PDO thread. In this time, you always uh, cannula direction is uh, always bevel up, and the cannula tip touch the bone, and remove. Some doctors use cannula for nasal dosum augmentation using HA filler, but I don't recommend cannula because in this time, uh, sometimes HA filler, already injected HA filler uh, comes out through the puncture site. So I always recommend the serial puncture technique using the needle. This is for nasal tip augmentation using the short uh, white core thread. This is also bevel up. Bevel is the outside uh, located and uh, vertically inject and touch the bone. And finally, you uh, check the frenula area. Sometimes thread uh, you can catch the blue color stained pedo thread. That time you should remove out uh, from the frenula area. This is the before and after 3D image. Her face line is a little bit changed and the mala area uh, slightly augmented and uh, There's a jugal fold improved. There's a labial fold is also improved. And the jawline a little bit uh, lift up. This is the color map for volume change. Uh, we, uh, color map uh, can check the volume change on the face. Red color is the increased sight. Uh, compare the volume before and after, uh, 26 milliliter, but after inject, 28, about 1.5 milliliter volume is increased. Uh, left side, uh, about 1.8 milliliter increased. But I, I inject only 0.5 milliliter HA filler on the nasal jugal fold area, but volume change is more bigger than before because thread injection is changed the malar area volume more upside. Mid face length is changed also. Mid face length uh, about 
4 mm increased because it's the same cause. Uh, we also check the control line. Uh, before, before case, in the before case, control line is uh, uh, overround and uh, more uh, wide uh, control line. But after, in the after case, control line is round shape and more narrow. This uh, show the after patient face is uh, more 3D uh, like a 3D, 3D image shape and the mid face volume is increased and uh, this uh, natural level fold crease is more deep but after inject this area's volume is increased uh, from now on, uh, let's move to the Vico uh, thread. Uh, Vico thread. Most patients have uh, stress. Uh, uh, patient uh, st st have the stress uh, due to the uh, nose shape, uh, especially saddle nose, uh, hump nose, and short nose and uh, long nose. Uh, Vico case uh, effectively improved the saddle nose and the hump nose. Uh, there are certain conditions referred to an attractive nose. Nasal frontal angle is the 150 to 130 degree. Nasal, nasal facial angle is 35 to 40 degree. Columella labia angle is 19 to 110 degree. So, so many uh, procedures and operation is used for augmented, augment the nose. But nowadays, uh, filler is very useful and very simple. But that uh, filler uh, effect is the more short and uh, uh, one or one and a half year later, uh, laser dosum is more widened and uh, more soft and change. So uh, I I always recommend HA filler and Vico thread injection is more uh, lasting lasting the the augmentation effect and the shape maintain the uh, augment the nose shape. Uh, nose anatomy is very simple and composed of very skin, uh, very thin skin and the subcutaneous fat, uh, nasalist muscle and uh, nasal bone and cartilage. This is also have the very danger area uh, when you inject the HA filler Nose is the, uh, one of the most common uh, areas to have vascular accident and serious complications such as long-lasting erysema, skin necrosis, sometimes make the blindness. Uh, so you should be careful not to touch the intercantal vein and uh, dorsal laser artery lateral laser artery, uh, you should take care. And uh, uh, when you inject the nasal tip, uh, this area, so many small blood vessel communication located in, in there. So I recommend uh, a tiny HA filler inject in, in this area. Uh, y core indication is the saddle nose and the hump nose and the curved nose. Sometimes patients have the asymmetric and the wide, wide nostril. Case is the uh, easily correct uh, using the H filler combined with the Y core. After inject the thread and H filler, uh, laser dosage augmentation 
and uh, reduce the uh, nostril size and the nasal tip elevation. Uh, before the treatment, I always uh, uh, perform the low block, infra the low block, and then directly inject the coromella area. Uh, uh, already uh, doctors uh, watch, watch the video. Uh, I always using the uh, insulin syringe, 0 0.5 uh, insulin syringe and using the serial puncture technique from the nasal dosum uh, cellion to the nasion and the columnar labia junction area and then I inject the uh, uh, vicose thread on the nasal dosum uh, along the supraperiosteal space, space. and then inject the uh, uh, short uh, vico uh, thread for nasal tip elevation and uh, more wide change of the uh, columnar labial angle. In this time, thread always touch the anterior nasal spine is the end point. Sometimes uh, <coughs> Some patients uh, uh, have the very strong deprosepti nasal muscle and the libate labi superior muscle, uh, alec nasal muscles. So in this case, I always uh, inject botulinum toxin, uh, this three point area. At each site uh, inject two un unit botulinum toxins. Uh, Vico thread have several advantages than the uh, performing filler injection only. Mm, it lead more effective nasal tip elevation, more effective correction of hook nose, longer duration of nasal augmentation effect, less change of nose shape after injection the filler and Vico. After Vico procedure. Uh, sometimes uh, we meet uh, some side effects like uh, bleeding and uh, mild dull pain, uh, nasal or oral mucosal perforation uh, by the pedius red, and so on. But it is uh, it happens very rarely and uh, uh, not significantly. I always. Uh, when I uh, using the when I use the Vico uh, for nasal dosage augmentation, I always combine with the HA filler, and uh, sometimes use the monofilament PDO thread and the botulinum toxin. This is the cardiac case. Uh, firstly, inject the HA filler, uh, blue, uh, red colored uh, stained uh, HA filler inject on the dosage and dissect the skin. Uh, we can observe the red color stained uh, HA filler uh, spread on the nasalis muscle and dissect the nasalis muscle. We can observe the uh, overwrapped uh, white coat thread on the uh, bone and the cartilage area. And dissect the coromella area. Uh, we can also observe the overwrapped uh, short vico uh, thread uh, in the intercrucial space. And the more dissect deeply, uh, this thread tip is touch the anterior nasal spine. This is the case. Inject before. Uh, this patient nose is the very low uh, nasal tip and uh, asymmetric nostril. But after in uh, after Vico, uh, more symmetric change and the nasal tip is elevated more than the 
control control uh, before case. Uh, lateral, lateral view, uh, we can observe the change of the hook nose shape, more smoothly change, and the nasal tip more elevated. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I, ha uh, I want, uh, uh, I hope uh, you are uh, more using the uh, help, uh, I have to use the spread and the filler uh, for there's a do zoom um, augmentation and sometimes patients have the hook nose and the saddle nose case. Uh, this uh, webinar uh, I hope uh, will be of the help to you. Thank you so much. Uh, normally, how many you use Enfix to get good jawline result? Uh, this is the uh, uh, I always recommend many thread inject is uh, more better result. Uh, I always thinking about that, but uh, most commonly. Uh, I inject uh, about uh, five to eight thread uh, each uh, each side, right side and uh, five to eight, left side uh, five to eight, uh, combined with the anchor. Medial area inject the uh, uh, fix about three to four fix and this lateral uh, uh, area uh, inject the anchor. Uh, about three to four thread. Uh, for jawline and V shape face, batteries use Ankog Royal or Mfix. Uh, Ankog Royal or Mfix is uh, character is different. Ankog is the inside, uh, inside, uh, can inside and outside thread. Uh, uh, totally uh, anchor. This anchor royal, uh, if you have the experience, you can feel the this uh, anchor royal uh, sometimes uh, a little bit more control the face line uh, artificially. So I sometimes use uh, for lateral cheek area uh, one or two anchor royal. Uh, the patient have a, so a severe sagging case and loose skin case. I inject one or two anchor royal uh, each side. Uh, but Mfix is a little bit different. Mfix is not movable inside the tissue. Uh, more strongly uh, hold the tissue, and then and more. Uh, not movable, not movable in the tissue, so uh, then the ANCOG royal. So I always recommend ANCOG and uh, NFIX uh, uh, is the more effective in the medial face area because this area is more movable, so need the more strong thread. Hi, Yoshida. How many threads, especially 40 millimeter, millimeter white coat, do you use in one time? Using the 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter thread over the five thread, is it too much? Uh, I always use uh, laser dojum area, uh, inject the five thread on the laser dojum area, and uh, columella area also inject the five thread because uh, already uh, you can see the cadaver dissection case uh, thread inject uh, serially and overlapped so this uh, thread uh, sometimes uh, mm, main function main function of the white core is the 
straight the uh, skin line and uh, tissue stimulation. So inject the HA filler and uh, uh, follow the inject uh, pedo thread. This pedo thread uh, stimulate the uh, around the tissues and uh, more rapidly capsulation around the HA filler. So after this procedure, uh, augmentation effect is more or less than the only use HA filler because uh, tissue uh, capsulation around the HA filler. But only one or two thread is the very um, weak uh, stimulation effect uh, on the tissue. So I recommend uh, minimum three thread is the, is the more tolerable to this effect uh, for the this this effect. How many thread do you use for nasal tip elevation? Uh, I recommend two times operation. Uh, firstly, inject the uh, thread. Uh, uh, effectively uh, elevate the nasal tip. Three to five thread. But this video thread, uh, as past the time, uh, slowly biodegraded and completely absorbed inside the tissue. So, uh, after six months later, uh, one more uh, procedure is helpful to less the that uh, elevation effect of the nasal tip. So I recommend uh, three to five thread, uh, five thread injection is enough, and then uh, follow up. And six months later, uh, I recommend the second operation. How do you know where to inject, inject, inject open with 18 needle for spread entry point at tip of nose? Open, inject open? Uh, ah, puncture site. Uh, you, uh, uh, you mean is the puncture site. Uh, puncture site is the 0.5 centimeter below the uh, nose tip is uh, very effective because uh, this area is the uh, more easily in inject the uh, white thread on the nasal dojun. Thank you for your attention and so many questions uh, uh, give to us. Uh, so uh, have time and uh, I always want to meet uh, uh, whole uh, in the world doctors, uh, cosmetic doctors uh, in Oprine. But uh, now situation is prevent this uh, my hope. So. If I have a time, uh, opportunity, uh, I want to uh, uh, go out there and uh, meet uh, doctors and then um, and the uh, Korea situation is more or less uh, next year, to the next year. I hope to meet uh, in the, this web seminar. Thank you for your attention.